Tonight in our front lines report, her job is to help you breathe better. Tonight she tells our Anne Marie Tiernan the COVID-19 patients she is caring for tonight share a hallmark symptom. I understand that you work in respiratory therapy at Eskenazi Health. Tell me what you're seeing on the front lines right now, Jonna. We're very busy, incredibly busy. We're running a lot. Uh, we have a lot of patients who are pretty sick, a lot of patients who need our attention. Is there anything about this as these patients are presenting that is unique, uh, hallmark characteristic that you don't typically see as a respiratory therapist? The shortness of breath, definitely, it comes on faster than you would believe. I mean, we see patients with COPD all the time who come in short of breath. It's something we can turn around pretty quickly. But in these patients, it just comes on immediately almost, and it's hard to turn around, which is why they're on the ventilator so long. They just need that support for quite a while. How long are people on ventilators right now? Uh, we've had patients who have been on for four days. We've had patients who have been on for a few weeks. Uh, it just kind of depends on how long it takes the virus to run the course. Is it taxing your limits? It is. It definitely is, um, physically and emotionally. I understand the ICU at Eskenazi is full now and you're expanding to other floors. How does that impact your work? Uh, it, it adds to the running. Um, we are pretty full in our ICU. We've expanded to a second ICU, now working our way to a third, all on def different floors. So um, we're definitely spread out pretty thin, but we're just doing everything we can. Are you worried about catching this coronavirus? Every day. I'm worried about it every day. Um, but the hospital has been great about giving us the supplies we need to keep us as safe as we possibly can be. What do you see in these patients, young, old? Is there any common denominator? There really isn't. It's patients of all ages. Um, some patients have comorbidities. Some patients don't. Everyone, it, it, it takes everyone. There's been this effort to have a community support for healthcare workers with parades and ribbons and tributes. Uh, have you seen that? Does it make a difference? We have, and it does make a difference. Uh, definitely on the hard days, it pushes you to, to get past it and keep working. Um, we've been fed like you wouldn't believe here. Um, just everyone is so appreciative. Even some of our coworkers just walking around telling each other how much we appreciate you makes a difference. John or Richardson, we appreciate you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. She is just one of the many faces working on the front line. She's also a mother, and uh, she says that she's running around from floor to floor, but there's no place she'd rather be because she wants to help these people get well. Scott. Oh, we're so lucky to have people like Jonna. Thanks for that great story, Ann.